Hi guys and welcome back to Cooper's Key. So we're continuing on from the last video that I released, which was just breaking down because of who you are as arranged by Johan Kim. In this video, we'll continue to break down this song from where we left off last time. Last time we looked at the introduction and left it from when the verse begun. So we'll continue on from there. But before we get to that section, let's just recap what we did last time and look at what we covered. Um, for anyone watching this for the first time, there is a part one to this video where you can see what we did with the with the um, introduction. So let's just play it over and then see, just go over it really quickly, not spend too much time on it. So that's what we did last time. So this time we'll continue on from there. So let me just... Okay. So we'll start with the G chord. As I we've already covered this. Okay, so last time we did... Uh, when we got to that after the E, right? On the A. But this time we're doing this. That's the only difference. So we start G. Same chord as last time. A. Remember the circle of fourth we talked about last time, right? Yeah, let's carry on. Again, that's nothing new, so instead of walking down the whole thing, we just walk down to the F sharp. Okay. Not bad. That's the notes there. Okay. <clears throat> Before we go forward, I just really want to cover a quick theoretical point here. We've played the E minor 11 and the A minor 11 and I just want to point out to you, I, I don't think I did this last time, but these two are the same chords essentially. These are the same chord voicings on the E minor 11 and the A minor 11. So I want to break this down theoretically for you quickly. So the E minor 11, we have an E minor chord, of course, in the left hand, except we're voicing it open. So instead of close this way, we've taken the G and played it up an octave to play it that way. Okay, that's all we've done. So it's a basic E minor triad in the left hand. And in the right hand, we have this over here, which, um, okay, it looks complicated, but it's really not. So we have an E minor here. If I was to play the E minor 11 and break it down um, textbook style, I'll play the E minor, I'll play the seven, right? And then I'll play this, which is the nine. And then I'll play that, which is the 11, right? And that gives me my E minor 11 chord. Okay. Except um, it's voiced a bit more interestingly. So we have the E minor triad in the right hand, which is voiced this way, and then the chord on top, which is the 13. I'm sorry, the 11 at the bottom, the seven, and then the nine at the top. And so similar thing with the A minor, right? An easy way to think of this is that all I'm doing is playing a D triad over an E minor triad. Okay. Forget the numbers for a second and just look at it visually. This is just a D triad. And you could play any inversion of the D triad. Even double up on some of those notes and you would still have the E minor 11. So when I play the A minor 11 chord, I could just think of it as a G triad over the A minor chord. This allows me to have a bit more freedom 
because I'm thinking of it as triads rather than thinking of the numbers. Okay. Um, and so yeah, just bear that in mind as we go in, as we're going through this tutorial. Whenever I say E minor eleven, A minor eleven, because you can take the same idea and just realize that the triad you put on top to make the minor eleven chord is just a it's just a tone away from your minor from your minor triad. So if I was doing this on C minor, then I know my ma major triad would be B flat because it's a tone away from 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 C. But I'd phrase it, I'd voice it that way, right? Um, pick another one. Let's do it on F. I'll do it with the E flat triad. Of course, it would be a minor chord in the left hand. Okay. Anyway, that's that. So let's carry on. Grace note here. Okay, uh, that's where we left it, I believe. Yeah, A minor eleven, right? D. Again, this is all familiar. familiar and the rest is familiar too okay so um, that section there is is it's quite familiar to us um let's go from the C standard what we did last time for anyone watching this for the first time like i said there is a part one where we went over these chords the first time so i don't want to be doing that again we land on the e minor 11 right um and now what he does is well last time we just but this time there's more chords to accompany that so the left hand walks down And now um, my keyboard is a bit limited because I have 61 keys so I can't go octaves all the way down so what I do is I just play the single one, single B but it's octaves. This is the same as last time as well. This is like that 7-3-6 movement we covered last time. Yeah, last time we did this. Well, whereas this time it's again, uh, it's going to be a two five one here. That's the verse pretty much done. Uh, so the transition G. Um, do whatever you want with the build up as much energy as you feel is necessary to to, to hype up the chorus, right? And then just walk down semi tones. E minor seven, right? Down semi tone, literally. Um, and then the the chord to bring us to the C or the four, which is the beginning of the chorus, is going to be a G seven.
and then the D flat, um, D flat seven chord, D flat minor, shall I say? Uh, Actually, I wouldn't even say D flat minor. I would say a flat. Uh, sharp nine or flat, flat two, right? D flat, flat two, and it doesn't matter what it's called. To be honest, it's really not that important. It's it's more or less just going from uh, trying to just move a tone down, right? Tone and a semitone down. So it makes it much. Think of it however you want to think of it. Just don't get caught up with the. Um... Okay. I don't know, that's, um... that's gonna be. So our E7 flat nine. Then our B flat uh, seven sharp eleven. Now he's gonna do this. Yeah. That's gonna be all familiar to us again. Just take take the same chord you just play down here and roll it up. To that D7. And repeat, essentially. My bad there, so... It is the same thing, it's just the way he's rhythmically playing it and the licks is playing it. Like. I'll do that cleanly for you guys. Uh. Roll. 
Um, I need to recap that one real quick. Yeah. Okay, so it's um. And then we get into the solo section, which I'll cover in another video. All right. I'll see you guys in another video. I guess this was too long. <laughs>